One of the things you mentioned in the book that this could lead to is dysautonomia or um, this imbalance in sympathetic, parasympathetic activation. So what does this roughly look like when, when we start to get symptoms of dysautonomia? Well, it looks like a lot of things. Um, you know, when your heart doesn't beat appropriately to the environment, so it's too much, too soon, too little, too late. So you get symptoms where, you know, you stand up and you get uh, either orthostatic hyper or hypotension. It just doesn't regulate appropriately. Panic attacks are, are very common kind of in the earlier stages because panic is, you know, it's, it's your heart beating and you're not able to consume oxygen appropriately and, and that you might get uh, uh, GI distress. Uh, again, the too much, too soon, too little, too late type of things where you're either constipated or you you have diarrhea and or it goes oscillates back and forth because the sympathetic parasympathetic innervation is all askew. And so you you get things that are not regulated very well. Gastroparesis, again, you know, the digestive system is not working appropriately. Um, and so you get things like that that are that are can become pretty evident pretty quickly, but you get a lot of other subtle things. You know, you get temperature control, uh, which if it happens to accord at a later stage, if you're a woman, you think menopause, and maybe it's not. It could be very well menopause, but it could also be that you don't have appropriate nutrients to manage things like that. So there's a variety of, of, of symptoms, but if you just think of inappropriate regulation to the environment around you, that's pretty much the, the, the guiding principle of dysautonomic function.